Hey, greetings, everybody. I just wanted to make this short video uh, uh, right here on the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Hope everybody's got a cup of coffee. I'm just about ready to go to work here in just a few minutes. But uh, it just uh, occurred to me, I don't think anybody, or there's a lot of people my age and younger that do not realize what kind of sacrifices the greatest generation uh, had to go through during World War II. Uh, you may have seen my post about my uncle Russell. He was uh, he flew into Normandy. He was in a pilot. He uh, was on the plane. They were uh, the 15th Troop Carrier Squadron, and uh, they flew missions into France during those days. But anyway, getting back to the home front, here I want to show you something. I don't think the younger generation and even people my age do not realize these are ration books from World War II. This is my family. These are my sisters, Sharon and Joan. This is my dad. This is my mom. And my uncle lived with them at that time. And this was his ration book right here. You did not go to the store and buy something without stamps. Once these stamps were gone, you were you wasn't making any purchases. They were for gas, for tires, for coffee. I can't tell you what all these uh, stamps actually represented, but they looked like this. You make a purchase, you take a little stamp off. And that's some of the sacrifices that they had to go through. I'm sure there was good times back in the 40s, and I think uh, they made some of the greatest movies back in, during the war days. Uh, there was probably reasons for that. But anyway, it's just something to think about. Hey, hope you have a good day. Talk to you later.